welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here um if you're came by it thanks for tuning in and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for clicking back on my video make sure you're subscribed down below hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you always know every time i upload a new video follow me on social media as well which is at if you're acting buddy on twitter instagram and snapchat so you guys today let's talk like let's have a candid conversation so I watched this show called Skinny Girl in Transit and then I recently just discovered this one called Awkward Things About Losing Weight and I'm currently on a weight loss journey I've lost about 20 to 25 pounds I think so yeah I was like hmm pretty interesting why don't I <laughs> come up with my 10 things that I realized or 10 awkward things I realized when I lost weight so yeah, that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to be talking about 10 awkward things about losing weight. So if you want to know my 10 awkward things about losing weight, just keep watching. So number one, numero uno. The first thing I think for me that like, I was like, uh, was that nothing fits, like nothing. Like my jeans don't fit, even my bra doesn't, like nothing in my closet fits me anymore. So. That means I have to spend so much money to buy new clothes. Number two, I think this is probably like, for girls at least maybe, this is probably like the most painful part about losing weight or probably like, yeah, I think it's probably the most painful part about losing weight. You lose the favorite parts of your body. So, you know, your favorite parts of your body is gone. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay. So, you know, your thighs or your hip i mean yeah your hips gone your butt gone breast size down to like all that happens i actually had someone one day be like on a picture the person was like oh so you know where do all your pom pom disappear so i was just like oh i guess i i don't know but yeah you lose all your favorite parts of your body so me my bum bum is gone nowhere to be found anymore Number three, I think this one is like hand in hand with number two, but yeah, you can't spots reduce. So if you're like, oh, okay, you know, I like my lower body, but then I hate my upper, not hate, but I don't like my upper body or, you know, my arms are too flabby and my stomach, but I like to keep my butt. No, sorry, you can't do that. You know, if you're losing the fat, you're losing it everywhere, which is kind of annoying. You know, sometimes you want to keep your butt or you want to keep your thighs, but when you're losing weight all out the window <laughs> number four i think this one is like probably the most relatable if you're nigerian when people see you your weight becomes a greeting they're just like uh -uh, if I, how are you you've lost though or you've reduced like obviously i know that why do you have to greet me with with that like that's not a greeting that's not a how are you or how are you doing no you know please dear nigerian stop using our weights as a greeting we know we've lost or we know we've added it's okay you don't have to be like oh you've lost or you've added i know thank you very much okay don't greet me with my weights greet me like a normal human being should number five i think yeah so the scale doesn't change you know you can be you can actually be losing weight and gaining muscle at the same time and the scale doesn't change and you become so sad and you're just like damn like you know i've been eating so well i've been doing so good this whole week why need the you know why is the skill not changing or why is it the same thing it's not you boo you know you're just maybe you're just adding muscle or maybe you're just bloated it's not every day the change the scale changes that you add weights like you can't add weights overnight if you lifted weights yesterday for example you might add like two pounds that doesn't mean you've added fat to your body number six oh my god yeah this happened to me you become calorie obsessed like you start thinking to yourself every single time like every single time be like so how many calories is this how many calories is this how many cut not all calories are bad calories like you can still eat sensibly control your portions 
but you don't have to kill yourself because of calories for crying out loud i did that for so long i'll always be like ah, how many calories is this how many calories is this how many calories is this and then i'll not eat something i really really like because of calories like no i don't do that anymore i just eat what i want to eat but i just control my portions number number seven hmm, this one's pretty deep you will still be the same person just in a different body like after you've lost that 10 pounds you want to lose or 60 pounds or whatever it is you want to lose after you've lost that weight you're you're actually still the same person like you know if you're a kind person you're still a kind person inside your heart if you're a mean person like you're still a mean person if you're a bitch you're still a bitch like losing weight doesn't make you a whole different person so i know like sometimes it's so easy to like attach a positive feeling to losing weight so you can be like oh if i can lose like this 10 pounds or whatever then i won't be sad anymore if i can lose this however whatever it is you want to lose then i'm very sure you know i'll be a different person if i can lose this then I no you're just putting unnecessary expectations and unnecessary pressure on yourself like lose the weight because you want to lose the weight and because you want to look good and you want your clothes to fit well not because you're attaching weight to the person you are inside it's not the same like it's not the same thing so you will still be the same person after you've lost all that weight you want to lose so you know if you want to change who you are don't attach it to your weight it's not gonna work number eight oh, i think this one is painful very painful you know how you're scrolling on instagram and you're seeing people looking so nice with their clothes you know fashion over everything they're looking so good you know and you're like yes when i lose my 30 pounds or when i lose my 10 pounds when i lose my whatever pounds i cannot wait to buy that clothes. or you buy something and be like oh after i've lost my 10 pounds i'll fit into it mm, no actually not everything is going to look nice on you oh my god this was like this was hard for me because i was like after i lose weight i'm sure like everything will be right and everything will be snatched and everything will be in the right place nope i still try on some clothes now and i'm like mm, maybe not i guess maybe the clothes are just not made well it has nothing to do with my body because now you know you've lost all that weight but the clothes still don't look good on you so yeah very awkward to find out that not everything will look nice on you after you've lost all that weight that you wanted to lose number nine <laughs> losing weight doesn't solve all your problems like that's just one problem you know your weight is just one thing you know when you lose weight you're not going to be like oh i'm problemless in the world like it's actually funny because i feel like sometimes like going through weight loss can actually create more problems for you than when you were the weight you were before i don't know it's so crazy but yeah like you can lose weight and you can still have like body image issues or you can lose weight and you can still have like some pro like don't attach your weight to your problems or don't attach your weight to you know don't say i'm the way i am right now because i am big or i'm the way i am right now because i am whatever problem it is you have is its own problem don't don't attach it to your weights because when you lose that weight trust me those problems are still going to be waiting for you and the very last one number 10 oh god this one is painful but you will feel so guilty like the guilt is real i don't know why but you feel so guilty about eating anything else so you know when you're on a diet or when you're trying to eat good or eat clean and you see a slice of pizza and that is what you're craving or whatever you have a burger like there's this guilt inside of you that is literally eating you up and you're just like why you feel sorry you feel so guilty for actually eating what you're craving or you know, for actually that happened to me for the longest time like I'd have pizza or I would have something fried and I'll just be like oh my god why like why did I just do that damn I just took like five steps forward and took ten steps back no like no 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 like you don't have to feel guilty for eating what you eat you know don't beat yourself up for eating a slice of pizza don't kill yourself for eating ice cream like 
if you want to have ice cream have ice cream and just adjust yourself for the rest of the day like or have ice cream or go out with your friends and eat do whatever it is you want to do eat and then adjust after but don't be like oh my god i'm trying to lose weight if i eat this one pizza if i eat this one spoon of ice cream damn i've lot i've added all the weight back no boo that's not how it works okay so weight loss should be fun it should not be a punishment so yeah guys that is the end of my video i know like yeah i know there's some really really awkward things about losing weight but these were the 10 things i could think about so these were the 10 things i could relate to if you guys have any awkward things you've realized about losing weight or any awkward things you've realized about weight loss might be yours might be someone else's just leave a comment down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this leave comments down below as well on other videos you would like for me to do and i hope you enjoyed this guys see you in my next video bye